given I mean, the sorts of things we've talked about, such as the unintuitiveness of 10 extra dimensions, the super partners, the landscape, how is it that string theory came to so dominate the high, par high energy particle physics landscape to the point where any other pro approach can't really even get off the ground, it seems? Well, I think... I think Witten, I mean, these big titans might play some role. That's one yeah, of the reasons no, I mean, why I think important. Witten personally has something, has something to answer for there. But it's more, more generally, it's... If you, if you look at the sociology of, of how progress gets made and, and how progress you know, was made in healthier times, it's, um, it's always been a, a subject that's very, very kind of... Um, very faddish that everybody is always kind of, it's, it's very, very interesting to me to contrast it to mathematics, which I now know very well, which has a very kind of different sociology. And in physics, in this kind of physics, everybody is always looking, they're looking to the, the smart people and what is everybody else working on and what, what, how can I write a paper somehow about that? And mathematicians have always, and, and, and I think what traditionally drove that was that, you know, a new accelerator would start up, it would see some completely new phenomenon, everybody in the subject would kind of jump on the problem of how do we understand this new phenomenon, and then the person who first figured it out would get a Nobel Prize, and so, I mean, and that was the way you made progress. But in some sense, you've removed, what the problem with the subject is that you've removed the thing which was you know, providing oxygen and, and, and allowing this to work, which you've, 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 you've removed the impetus of new experimental results. There just haven't been any new experimental results in years. And so, but the same sociology of let's all, you know, let, let's all look at each, at what everybody else is doing and all try to find the, you know, the one most promising idea and all together, you know, work on it, work on it is, is really kind of the mindset of subject. And I think, you know, Lee Smolin, I think, was also very aware of this and had some interesting, a lot of interesting things to say about, about this. But it's very, um, yeah, I mean, it, there's a certain, and then, you know, when you understand how academia works, it's all, you know, how do you have a career in the subject? Well, you know, you have to get in the right graduate school, you have to write the right kind of thesis, you have to have postdocs. You know, there, there's a certain kind of career path, and there are not that many jobs, and there's, you know, there, there's kind of one way to kind of successfully manage this maze and and, and, and end up with a with a, with a kind of um, permanent job you want and that the way things are set it's very unclear how you can do that without follow, you know following exactly a certain fat you know being on surfing the right fat at the right time and uh, you know just deciding I'm going to go off and do something orthogonal to what these standard um, programs and fads are is just it, it's really kind of career suicide if you would try to do it in in, in most academic academic so I don't know.